Hiya, Angus the Singing Driving Instructor here again and you're very welcome to this um, briefing on the MSM routine, the Mirrors Signal Maneuver Routine. Okay, so the um, MSM routine is the routine that we use to safely negotiate hazards and junctions. Anything we need to deal with um, when we're driving can be defined as um, or under the umbrella of either a hazard or a junction. So anything at all that we deal with, this routine allows us to uh, to deal with it. It's uh, best way to see it is a thread that um, runs through your driving process that allows you um, to deal with things. Okay. Now the best way for us to talk about this is. Um, uh, talk about it backwards if that makes sense, makes sense because what we need to do is talk about the manoeuvre element first so that the rest of it makes sense so we've got the manoeuvre we've got mirrors and we've got signals okay but I want to start here at the end logical place but you'll see why in a sec now a manoeuvre in driving is defined as any change of speed and stroke or position. So if you change your speed or your position whilst you're driving, you have performed a manoeuvre. Okay. Now the only things in driving which would cause you to change your speed or your position would be hazards or junctions okay so if you're going to deal with a hazard or a junction in other words perform a maneuver and before you do that you need to make sure you've checked your mirrors and you've decided whether a signal is necessary okay now we'll go to the beginning <laughs> mirrors Let's have a chat about mirrors and then we'll talk about signals as well. So mirrors, you are checking your mirrors for the speed and position of vehicles around and behind you. In other words, other people's manoeuvres that are going on around and behind you. Okay. Now, the mirrors that you're going to check and the sequencing of the mirrors, if you imagine that's your main mirror and these are your two door mirrors. If the manoeuvre that you're going to do involves a turn to the right or a positional um, change to the right, or possibly going past a parked car or a lane change or something, you would check your main mirror first and then your right hand door mirror. If your manoeuvre involved a turn to the left or a positional change to the left, then it will be your main mirror first and then your left door mirror okay um, so you're checking your mirrors for the speed and position of vehicles around and behind you and you're checking your mirrors in pairs okay for directional changes if you are going to add some speed you will check your main mirror first and then you will check your right door mirror and your left door mirror okay if you were going to uh, lose some speed, you would again you would check your main mirror first and then the door mirrors. Okay, um, so that's part of the first element of the routine. So you're checking your mirrors, um, position and speed of vehicles around and behind you. Whilst you are checking your mirrors, you need to consider if a signal is necessary. Okay. So you're considering whether a signal is necessary. Now, signals, they need to be the correct signal, which we shall talk about in a second or two. Yeah? So it needs to be the correct signal, but it also needs to be timed correctly as well. So the timing of the signal. Because a signal that is given too early can be confusing and a signal that is given too late is, uh, is no good and a little bit frustrating and annoying potentially. Okay, so you're checking your mirrors and you're considering if a signal is necessary. It's got to be the correct signal and it's got to be timed correctly. Okay, so the signals that we give, the sort of one that um, 
is kind of the, the main one that we're given is the indicators so the flashing lights on the outside of the car that tell people the direction we're intending to go in they indicate where you're going so that's kind of the, the, the first one that sort of springs to mind um, so that's um, not the only one that we that we give um, with junctions you're um, you do tend to signal at 99% of junctions. There are some scenarios, which we'll talk about on your lessons and things, but to do with the closeness of, of uh, sort of multiple side roads and things and other, other things that are going on, where you possibly would alter the timing of the signal. And there's certain junctions that to do with the layout of the, the road, it makes sense not to signal. Because sometimes if you're not signaling right and you're not signaling left, that tells people in other words, signals that you're going road ahead by not actually signalling. Okay, so that we'll talk about those elements and um, all those sort of differences, if you like, on your lessons. Okay, so carrying on with signals, we've got indicators, but there are other types of signal that we give as well. For example, um, brake lights, they're a signal, aren't they? Um, reverse lights, they're a signal, yeah. We give hand signals, yeah, so there's hand signals, the correct hand signals I'm talking about, not the ones that you feel like, uh, you feel like giving sometimes. Um, there's flashing of your lights as per the highway code, which is a warning, okay? Now, I'm not going to do a briefing on flashing lights here, but it can be confusing because it's a generic, if you flash your lights, it's a generic um, meaning. You might mean one thing, but other people might miss interpret that meaning so um, I'm going to talk about flashing lights separately okay I'm not going to dwell on it now um, another signal that we give um, is actually the position that the car is in along with the speed that you're traveling at okay which you'll notice from what we said earlier on is actually maneuver isn't it so the maneuver that you're doing at the time is a signal as well okay so mirrors signal maneuver okay so you've checked your mirrors for the position and speed of vehicles around and behind you and you've considered uh, which signal you're going to give and you've timed your signal correctly you can then perform your maneuver okay so your maneuver is made up of the elements of being at the correct speed which includes gear as well so you've got to make sure you're in the correct gear, okay? And you're also in the correct position. And these items here, these sort of three elements of it, um, allow you to look at what's going on um, and it allows you to assess and decide whether you're going to wait or continue, okay? So that in... Um, I want to say nutshell, but it's not really a nutshell because it's quite complex, um, is the MSM routine. Um, and what we'll start to do is um, apply that to the, to the driving technique or to your, to your, um, to your driving uh, lessons and things. Okay, so I'll see you on your driving lessons. Cheers. Roman's came a few years back, boom.